All right, I want to solve the linear programming problem. Uh, maximize f of x is equal to 3x or x plus 3y plus z subject to x plus 4y is less than or equal to 12. 3x plus 6y plus 4z is less than or equal to 48. y plus z is less than or equal to 8. And our standard constraints uh, x uh, is greater than or equal to 0, y is greater than or equal to 0, and z is greater than or equal to 0. Since this has three variables, an x, a y, and a z, I have to do the simplex method on it, uh, or it's a rather complicated three-dimensional graph, and I don't really want to get into that. Let's just do the simplex method. All right, so I want to introduce slack variables into each of my equations, uh, and so the first equation, I'm going to create our simplex tableau. tableau. I've got an x, a y, a z. I'm going to need three slack variables because I have th three constraints. Uh, and of course my objective function there. And uh, my first equation is 1x, 4y. It's not going to have any z in it. I'm going to add a slack variable, an s1, into there. There's no S2, there's no S3, there's uh, no F, and then it adds up to 12 there. Our second equation is going to be 3x, 6y, 4z. I'm going to introduce slack variable number 2 in there, so no S1, no S3, and it totals 48 over there. Our third uh, equation has zero x's in it. It's got one y, one z. Our third slack variable will show up in that equation. So I'm going to have a zero, zero, one, zero for the f column, and then an eight. And then my objective function I'm going to put at the bottom row. I need to shift everything over to the left side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract the x, subtract the three y, subtract the z. So I'll get a negative one a negative 3 in the y column, a negative 1 in the z column, zeros through the slack variables, a 1 in the f column, and a 0 in that last column there. All right, so my next task is to try and find my pivot. I want to find the row with the uh, largest negative in it. That would be the, or the column with the largest negative in it. That's going to be my y column. I'm going to take 12 uh, and divide it by 4. I'm going to take the number in the column divided by the this last number here divided by the number that's in my pivot column. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. 48 divided by 6 is 8. And 8 divided by 1 is also 8. I'm going to choose the smallest of those three, which would be the top one, the 3. And so my pivot will be that first 4 there. So let's take and let's divide row 1 by 4. I'm going to divide that top row all the way through by 4. And I'm going to get uh, uh, 0 0.2510, 0 0.25000, 0 0.003, and then 3, 6, 4, 0, 1, 0, 0, 48, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 8, and then our objective function is still down here, 1, minus 3, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and then 0. All right, so I've converted my pivot into a 1. I want to create zeros below that column, so if I do negative 6, times row 1 plus row 2, put it into row 2 spot. Uh, that will get me on my way. Let me do these one at a time. The top row is essentially going to stay the same. And so negative 6 times, two times a quarter plus 3 works out to be uh, 1.5. Negative 6 times 1 plus 0 is 0. Negative 6 times 0 plus 4 
stays 4, negative 6 times 0.25 plus 1 is a minus 1.5. Negative 6 times 0 plus 1 is 1. Negative 6 times 0 plus 0 is 0. Negative 6 times 0 plus 0 is 0. Negative 6 times 3 is a negative 18, plus the 40 makes 30. All right, and then I want to create a 0 in the third row, second column. So I can just do negative 1 times row 1 plus row 3. Put it into row 3 spot. So I'll get minus 0.25 plus 0 is minus 0.25. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Negative 0.25 plus 0 is a negative 0 0.25. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. Uh, and then I'm going to have negative 1 times 3 plus 8. That will give me 5. And then finally, I need to make the bottom row that uh, third row, second column, fourth row, second column into a zero. So if I do three times row one plus row four, put it into row four spot, I'll get uh, negative 0 0.25, zero. Uh, three plus negative one is going to stay negative one. I'm going to get uh, 0.75. 0, 0, 1, and 3 times 3 is 9, plus 0 stays 9. All right, unfortunately, I'm not at the objective. I'm not at the ideal solution because I still have a negative in the bottom row. So I'm going to go with the smallest number in the bottom row, which would actually be the negative 1, uh, or the largest negative, if you want. It's negative 1 there. And then I'm going to find... Uh, the column I want to work with. I'm going to take the numbers at the end and divide them by what's in that column. 3 divided by 0 you can't do, so I'm just going to ignore that top row. I'm going to go to the second row. 30 divided by 4 is 7.5, and 5 divided by 1 is 5. Again, I want to take the smallest one, so my 1 here is going to be the pivot. Works out nice that it's already a 1. So i got to do two operations here. Uh, the top row I'm going to leave alone. I don't have to fix it. It's already a zero. The second row I want to do um, negative four times row three plus row two. Put it into row two spot. So I'm going to take minus 0.25, multiply it by negative four, uh, and add it to 1.5, and that's going to give me a 1, plus 1.5 is going to give me 0. Negative 4 times 0 plus 0 is 0. Negative 4 times 1 plus 4 gives me 0. Negative 4 times 0.25 will give me a positive 1. Uh, yeah, positive 1 plus the negative 1.5 will be a minus 0 0.5. Uh, negative 4 times 0 plus 1 stays 0. Negative 1 times 4 plus 0 is negative 4. Uh, 0 plus 0 is 0. Negative 20 plus 30 makes 10. Let's see, the next row is my pivot row. I'm not changing it at all. So let me copy it across the row 3 here. And then I need to do the bottom row. And I can just do row 3 plus row 4 and put it into row 4's plot. That will give me a positive 1 and a negative 1 there in my pivot column, which will make 0. So if I add negative 0.25 plus negative 0.25, I'll get minus 0 0.5. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus negative 1 is 0. Minus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.75 is 0 0.5. Uh, 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 makes 1. 0 plus 1 makes 1. And 5 plus 9 makes 14. 
All right. Oh, I'm still not quite done. I still have a negative in the bottom row. So I still have a negative here in the bottom row. That'll be my pivot row. And then I want to take 3 and divide it by 0.25. I want to take the numbers at the end, divide them by the numbers that are in that column. 3 divided by 0.25 is 12. 10 divided by 2.5 is 4. And 5 divided by negative 0.25 is a negative 20. I'm actually going to ignore that one. You want to ignore the ones that are negative. But my pivot uh, row here is going to be the, uh, what is that? The uh, That's the, um, that's the second row, isn't it? That's the second row. So I'm going, and I'm, lines aren't lined up there. So my second row. So this two and a half is going to be my pivot. So let's take row two and divide it by two and a half. So I'm going to leave the top row the same for now. Row two, I'm going to divide it by two and a half. The top row should be 0 0.25. One, zero, 0.25, zero, 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 three, and then one, zero, zero, minus 0.2, 0.4 minus 1.6 0 and 4 and negative 0 0.25 0 1 minus 0 0.25 0 1 0 and 5 and then the bottom row stays the same minus 0 0.5 0 0 0.5 0 1 1 14. Okay, so I've got the one here is my pivot in that f second row first column. I want to do minus 0 0.25 times row one plus row two, put it into row one spot. And that will give me a zero, a one, a zero. 0.3 minus 0 0.1 0 0.4 0 and 2 and then in the next row down I'm gonna have a 1 alright uh, and then a 0 and then a 0 and a minus 0 0.2 and a 0.4 and this is just the same row that's up there, minus 1.6, 0, and 4. And then I want to create a 0 in this next spot. So I want to do uh, a positive 0.25 times row 2 plus row 3, put it in a row 3 spot. And when we do that, I should get a 0. Uh, 0 0.25 times 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 0.25 times 0 plus 1 is 1. Uh, 0 0.25 times a minus 2 plus a negative 0 0.25 gives me a negative, oops, start working again, pen, negative 0.3, uh, and a negative uh, 0.25 times uh, 0 0.4 uh, plus 0 works out to be 0 0.6, no, 0.1, I'm off by a row. 0.1 and then a 0.6 and then a 0 and a 6. And then finally I want to do a positive 0.5 times row 2 plus row 4 and put it into row 4 spot. And so a 0.5 times 1 plus a negative 0.5 gives me a 0. 0.5 times 0 plus 0 stays 0. 0.5 times 0 plus 0 would be 0. 0.5 times a minus uh, 0.2 plus 0.5, that's a 0.1, plus 0.5 gives me a 0 0.4. 0 0.5 times uh, 0.4 is, um, well, plus the 0 gives me a 0 0.2. 
negative 1.6 times 0 0.5 plus 1 is also 0 0.2. 0 0.5 times 0 plus 1 is 1. And 0 0.5 times 4 is 2. Plus the 14 gives us uh, 16. All right, and so now we're done with negatives in the bottom row, so we are at our solution. Our rows again was, this was the X column, the Y column, the Z column, S1, S2, S3, and F. And looking at my columns, it looks like X will equal 4. Y, the Y one lines up with the 2, the 1 lines up with the 2, so Y will equal 2. In the Z column, that's a nice looking column and z will equal 6. This is a 2 here, not a z. Uh, uh, s1 is all messy. I'm going to let s1 be 0. I'm going to let s2 be 0. It's all messy. s3 is 0 because uh, it's all messy. And finally, f is equal to 16. That would be our solution. Whew, that was a long one.